กันว่าReciting the mantra, right? Yeah. No, you you have hands, you know. You have good hands. The last time, whatever this a little flat and herb b things. What is that? Flat. What I what I master. But normally, I don't eat this uh, fry and stuff, you know. Um, but it was really good, really good. Yeah, that was really a nice uh, surprise. I never ate this before. I have like. Maybe pakora vegetable, mm-hmm. but this is special pakora, huh? So beautiful because the herbs in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's because it's crunchy. It's all from your garden, master. Oh yeah. Yeah, the mint is from your uh, garden somewhere. Oh really? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> you can find something there. Okay, thank you, huh? For your love, that put into the food. <laughs> thank you for your unconditional love, master. Yeah, it's good. This is your talent. You were sincere, maybe also. Thank you. Go tell, go home. Tell your family that I really am very envious of their position. <laughs> okay, their luck. <laughs> ah, my oh, husband God. also loves you so much, Master. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good. <laughs> okay. Okay, we continue, huh? Mm. On the scale of one hundred percent, M contributes. If it's me alone, you know, or together with you, I would contribute eighty-six percent of this upliftment of the souls, yeah. And you, retreat attendees, contribute six comma one percent. It's not bad already. Yeah, all of you share together four thousand something people. Each one is one na na comma na 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 na. Zero one percent or whatever, yeah. This is better than nothing. Otherwise, I have only eighty-six percent. You see, you contributed during your retreat six comma one percent together. Hmm. Then it's not bad already, yeah. Better than nothing. What do you expect from people like yourself? <laughs> well, I'm grateful. Okay, six comma one. That is. Multiply into seven hundred thirty-one million, for example. You know it's a lot, eh? Okay, it's a lot of souls. Yeah. Otherwise, would have been still laying in the hell or somewhere else. Very good. So retreat is good. Mm, they thank you also. Hmm. Yes. They always appear and thank me after I do retreat or something intensive or sometimes when they liberate it somehow in connection with me and they always appear. Oh, the whole like whole whole jungle of people's head. This more small like that. Men, women, children, old, young. Wow, a lot, a lot of them keep moving in front of me. Even when I'm not closing my eyes, I see them sometimes also. But when I close my eyes, it's clearer. They just continue, you know, continue to appear. It's a lot of millions here, and my vision, <laughs> when I'm working or when I close my eyes, is not that big, yeah. Yeah, you can see, but even then, it's seven hundred something millions. It's a lot, you know. Uh, it's just like a summary, but mostly it's not that many. Okay, all right. So you contribute six comma one percent. For whatever it was, together with me, 86 percent. So for 100 percent, we together, ah, uh, 
get 92,12 percent. Yeah, of this merit for these poor people. No? Yeah. For this, like, damned souls. And then the original gases from the whole realm, they can contribute 2,31%. Because they have very little to do with us, so they cannot contribute a lot. Okay? And then cosmic benevolent beings, they contribute also 2,31%. My reserve power help 3,26%. Then that add up together with the cosmic beings and with the gases, yeah, all together is 7,88%. For that, my reserve power extra 3,26%. And the cosmic is 2,31%. The gases 2,31%. You already told, okay? I say thank you, cosmic benevolent beings, all you gosses, our past Buddha saints not able to help. <laughs> I wrote here, past present saints of Buddha not able to help these souls. They're just too condemned, too heavy, yeah? They cannot help. So we did something, huh? Not bad, yes. Maybe the past and present saints of Buddha have no affinity with these souls, and we have somehow long, 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 eons, cowboys ago, as many as the sun in the Ganges River. That's why. So thank God we can do it now, finally, huh? Helping them to go up and be totally free, not just go to somewhere on the fourth level, fifth level, and stay there drinking tea for ants and cow bars like Ganges ants. <laughs> but go up, hmm? Tim Kotu Len, wow, they suffer long enough, don't you think? Yes. It's, it's horrible to suffer so long. Even to be hungry, go, sometimes I think of them and I, I, I cry, you know, it's, my God, suffering. It's how much suffering to be a hungry ghost, you know? Yeah, just like when you're hungry and you cannot eat. Imagine that. Try one, two days, and then you know what it's like to be a hungry ghost. Okay? Truly. So then when I think of them like that, even if I'm not hungry, I try to eat something quick so that leftover, I can pick it and give it to them some. So thank you, huh? Mm -hmm. And thanks all the gods and benevolent cosmic beings. Okay, huh? Yeah. What is this? Oh, these are the things I cannot write down. I just write how long, how much, and now I forgot what was it, how long and how much. I cannot write down, and I thought I write a number only, and then now I forgot what is it. <laughs> like I write four months, four months for what? Or nine months for what, you know? I should not write it. So I just thought, okay, it's okay, I write just a number, how long it takes, and now I forgot. I just see four months, nine months, three weeks, or something like that. Never mind about that. What we don't know won't hurt. <laughs> okay then, thank you, huh? Thank you. Uh, I thought you would like to hear. Mm. So now you heard. So we meditate, okay, huh? Uh, you happy? Yes. Any uh, thing good you want to tell me, like experience or good question or something good today we can talk? If not, uh, we meditate. Yeah, you want to talk? Are you? Okay. Up by my tent, there's this big bird. You saw a big bird outside? Yeah. And he was running around and he went up the tree and he's looking at me. Then I had a big spider in my tent too, a great big one like this. Yeah, and a bunch of little uh, little lizards. I'm way up on the farthest. They make you happy or something? It does. The wildlife really makes me happy. Oh yeah, even the spider and the lizards. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. They're special, right? Yeah, maybe maybe they're special. That's why. Hmm? Everything's special here now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we your disciple? Probably, in, uh, like before, when your master, we we also were there with you. Were we your disciples? Uh, were before? you my disciple before? before? Yes, when you were a master before as well. Who are we? 
Specifically, you? <laughs> oh, let me see. No? Sorry? <laughs> but some of the Taiwanese have been two times and couldn't go up very far. I said, this time you must. <laughs> no need to be a disciple before, maybe relatives, maybe friends, maybe uh, concubines <laughs> when I was king or something. Yeah, there are some, some like that, yeah. Or maybe former husband, wives, children. I've been here a long time, you know, I'm old. A lot of relatives and friends and concubines, <laughs> husbands, wives, you know. Uh, Sekamoni Buddha has only 500. I had probably 5,000, <laughs> 500,000. <000. laughs> some formally, yeah, depends on the size of the country. Yeah. And adding together, oh, there's so many. Yeah. And from that, we have many extant relatives, yeah. Our children are oh, a lot, a lot. My family, big, <laughs> big. Maybe you're one of my relatives before, a sister or something, yeah. Maybe that's why uh, your food tastes good to me. <laughs> Familiar, you know? <laughs> Habit, used to it already, yeah. But anyway, thank you. No need to search for the past, you know? The present is good enough. I'm telling you, even my present time here, I just so busy already. How? It just incidentally, accidentally, you know, that I sometimes had to know the past or see the past lives. Otherwise, I'm not interested. I'm not really interested. Yeah? It just sometimes it appear to you in your vision or to your knowledge. If somebody reported to me, then I know it. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Or somebody asked me a question about whether or not I have anything to do with their country, then uh, it comes out, huh? I'm not interested. Too many lifetimes and too much work. <laughs> if you remember all that, you had no time for meditation, eat, sleep, looking for masters, reciting mantras, walk, <laughs> sleep, eat, nada. It's still not enough to see all the Akashic records of your lifetimes on earth or even in other planets, in our galaxy, a lot, a lot, a lot. But uh, whoever came, I guess, has affinity somehow, you know? Either acquaintance or disciples, or relatives, friends, enemies also, a lot. <laughs> I mostly stick around nearby <laughs> to make trouble. <laughs> That's a surprise. Yeah, I don't also blame them. It's just very difficult to work with sometimes. They're very obstructive. It's just like you want to rescue two or three people at the same time from the water, and then one of them keeps clinging to your throat or clinging to your arms. Just don't let go, and it's so difficult to, to take them all up. Already difficult, many people with you and they stuck on your arms or bite your arms or wrap around your throat, something like that. So it's not so easy to, to be a master in case you want to be one, prepared, okay? Your life as a family member is already have enough trouble, right? Not always smooth, right? With the mood and affection, and all kind of personality conflict in the family, eh? And if you become a master, you have bigger family, more egos around, more conflicts. <laughs> Difficult. It's doable, it's just sometimes very suffocating, <laughs> very suffocating and, and exhausting, yeah. Like you want to, to walk uphill, you know? Mm. And people even rolling stone down your path. Yeah, same times, and like that. It's a physically speaking, it's very difficult, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally speaking, it's still more difficult to prove. Hmm? Hi. Any more questions? Master, I just wanted to offer my help with the dogs in the next few days if you want it. No, thank you. It's all right. Okay. It's all right. I just pray <laughs> for my luck. It's just like yesterday, 
I first came, you know, and they all like want to jump on me, that's all, you know, the attendance. Today is more relaxed now. Someday it's worse, someday not. Or maybe some of the people already gone, you know, and uh, it's less trouble. Hmm? People who come also bring trouble, not just the people who live around. It's just adding on, more empower, like an alliance. People, they have alliance with uh, groups of other people or some other race, even though they're not the same country. They have their own connection everywhere, like a web, you know. And when they come together, it's more powerful, either destructive or constructive. It's more reinforced. And sometimes it's very tiring, <laughs> very suffocating. Yeah. But what to do? Huh? No, no solution. <laughs> Just bear it. <laughs> I do what I can, okay? Not always possible to, to like, uh, resolve everything, yeah? to dissolve everything. That's the job, yeah? that's the price to pay. Yeah? I don't see any master, real highest master, who has to work alone, not relying on anyone, uh, past masters or Buddha or anything. I don't see any of them fare very well since the time, the beginning of the world. Yeah? They don't fare well. It just look like maybe, yeah, some look like but some are very obviously not well. Even if you, for example, you are a successor, like in some of a big tradition, and the master was still alive, and you, you like a successor and all that, you, you still need to suffer a lot. Hmm? Even the master, past master may be helping you, but you still suffer a lot. <laughs> That's normal, okay? <laughs> normal, just some suffer more, some suffer less. Some suffer physically only, some suffer all, all around. Physically, suffering is obvious, everyone can see, and maybe you have sympathy. But inside suffering, difficult to, for anybody to even see or to sympathize with you or help in any way. Very difficult to find unconditional people. If they were unconditional, I would be lighter, you see, but they're not. I just, so very conditional. <laughs> it's not good, but I'm stuck. I don't have high level people come and helping me. Yeah. Very, very rare. And not for this job. Just the price to pay. Cannot avoid. Huh? No problem. All right, we meditate then. If no more opinion, meditate, turn off light, tuck, tuck.